Center at the Fruitvale Station in Oakland. Yeah, KTVU reporter Brooks Jarrell shows us how people gathered for a vigil this afternoon to celebrate his life and renew calls to search for ways to prevent police violence. Reflecting and remembering what happened on New Year's Day 2009, Oscar Grant was shot in the back and killed by a BART police officer at the Fruitvale Station. We still have a long way in our communities to go to ensure that justice is served for all mankind. His mother holding an annual vigil with a call to action, stop the killings, stop the violence in Oakland, stop the blame game. Not only do we want the police to be accountable for their actions, but we want our communities to be accountable. By pushing for youth education programs, tackling mental health challenges, and reforming police training. BART officer Johannes Meserly claimed he mistook his gun for his taser when he shot Grant. He was convicted of involuntary manslaughter. We have to look at that training. We have to look at the policies and procedures in place and tear them down and begin to rebuild them. A similar case played out in Minneapolis last year, where police officer Kim Potter said she confused her gun for her taser, killing Dante Wright. She was convicted of manslaughter last month. Other high-profile police killings have brought about reforms and repeated calls for legislation. We have to find a way to get a seat at the table and, uh, and help when these policies are being written to make sure that they are equitable, make sure that they are fair, to make sure that they are inclusive, and to make sure that we have a voice there. Lift every voice and sing. In California, there has been some progress. Police use of force records are no longer secret. Some departments have implemented additional training, and a new law allows the state to decertify officers for serious misconduct, preventing them from getting rehired at another department without repercussions. Can't you feel change? And there is so much more work to be done, but that's why it's so important that we come here every year Every year, we never forget Oscar. For this group, they say it's healing, sharing, conversing, and challenging the community to do better, especially after last year, with 134 homicides in Oakland. Shootings, assaults, robberies, and burglaries also all up. We have to make the conscious effort to make our city a safer place. We can't keep expecting everybody else to do it for us. We have to step in. Organizers say getting involved and talking with neighbors is step one. Oakland police says it is committed to addressing a rise in violent crimes. The department also says it is focused on prevention strategies and initiatives to develop relationships with community members. In the newsroom, Brooks Jarose, KTVU Fox 2 News.